Seven Wonders of the Animal World. Here we have selected seven of nature's best architects, from deep down in the sea to nestled up in the trees. Animals also know how to build impressive structures. 1. The Ridged Sand Castles of the Pufferfish Pufferfish, your tetraodontidae, if you want to be pedantic about it, are famous for their ability to blow up to make themselves look bigger, as well as their delicious but dangerous flesh, only prepared by the most skilled and qualified chefs to avoid the deadly poison produced by these creatures. What you may not know, one puffer fish contains enough tetrodotoxin to kill 30 adult men. 2. Busy bees build beehives. Bees usually look for hollowed out locations to create the nest, such as a hollow tree, caves or rock cavities, where they then create the typical, instantly recognizable, hexagonal honeycomb arrangement. The arrangement of beehives is fairly regular, with honey stored at the top, followed by pollen storage, and finally worker, and drone breeding cells at the bottom. There can be found the slightly protruding, vaguely peanut-shaped cell for the queen bee at the very bottom. What you may not know, honeycombs are the ideal shape to economize labor and material yet create a structurally sound and strong structure and are used in many man-made applications. 3. Better than the Hoover Dam, the Beaver Dam Beavers are known for their uncanny ability to fell trees overnight and build dams and lodges, used for protection from predators and food supply in winter. They first divert the river's flow in order to lessen the pressure during construction, and build dams out of logs, stones and mud up to 1.5 meters wide and 1.8 meters high. These dams are extremely well designed, the shape changing depending on the speed of the water stream, including spillways to allow excess water to run off. What you may not know, the longest beaver dam recorded reached an astonishing length of 850 meters. For that's not a hill, it's a termite mound. That's not a hill. It's a termite mound. Some termites' nests extend above the ground, creating mounts that can reach as high as 9 meters, though 2 to 3 meters is more common. The shapes of these mounts vary from species to species, but some are quite recongizable. Compass termites create tall, wedge-shaped mounts, consistently oriented on the north-south axis thought to help with the thermal regulation of the nest. What you may not know, underground nests can sometimes connect to each other via tunnels. These are called polycalic nests, and a destroyed or abandoned nest can be reinforced through the others. 5. An unwanted neighbor, paper wasps and their umbrella nests. The entities are usually found in sheltered locations such as caves or under tree branches or, if you are unlucky, in the eaves of your house. Interestingly, unlike other similar types of hives, paper wasps leave the combs where they lay their eggs open, without a protective outer shell. Nests are usually attached to the sheltering structure by a narrow stem, making the nest look like an upside-down umbrella and earning the wasps the nickname of umbrella wasps. What you may not know, paper wasps also secrete an and repelling chemical which they use to protect the eggs in their hives. 6. Knit one, pearl one. Weaver birds and their intricately woven nests. Weaver birds being social animals. These nests usually contain over 100 distinct chambers, each resembling upside-down flasks, with openings at the bottom. Different species of weavers have different building techniques. Some use palm tree leaves, some create entrances on the side rather than the bottom. What you may not know, some weaver birds even lay their eggs in other birds' nests for incubation. Seven. So left turn here, and 
loss again in the gopher tunnels. Gophers, also called pocket gophers, are small North and Central American rodents, measuring about 1.5 to 2 centimeters, with a small tail of about 0.5 centimeters. They owe their name not to their pocket size but to the fur lined pockets on their cheeks, extending from the side of their mouths to their back and shoulders. What you may now know, they can exert up to 18,000 pounds over 8,000 kilograms of pressure with their bite. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.